Yeah, so this is me just getting used to being on camera. Um, yeah, this is weird, but I really do need to get used to this with uh, everything I'm setting in motion. Just recording my memoirs, upload to YouTube, private video. This is a dope ass TV, but I probably won't have it within a week because uh, it, it does belong to uh, what's about to be my soon to be ex wife. But I don't know if I can call her wife. I, I think that um, things are relative to what you believe. Like, like almost like a hot woman, you know. It's like I may think Rosie O'Donnell's the baddest bitch on the world, but some other nigga may be like, nah, nah, nah. She don't look bad. Trish Stratus look bad. You know what I'm saying? So the way we define things, it, it's our perspective and how we personally feel it to be. Um, I actually, there was this one white girl, super thick. She was thick like a milkshake amazing chick and you know what? what what kills me about um a lot of women is they claim that they can't meet the right man but I will, sometimes i think a lot of it comes from the biases and uh the brainwashing that a lot of us have some dudes can't meet the right chick because maybe the right chick you want to meet is the type of chick you don't want you know uh for example i was watching this uh this tv program earlier about uh this white woman with two daughters. Both of her daughters are married to black men, both pregnant by black men. And she says she's sick to her stomach. She wants to puke. She wants to throw up. And then they gave an update on the situation. And she just refuses to go to the childbirth or the marriages of either of them. And I was like, well, and then the, the whole time she was on the show, it was, it was a little talk show thing. You know how they do talk shows. And the whole time she's on the show, the, the one black dude, one, the, one of the husbands, the fiancés, he was cool. He was just, you know, chilling in the cut, not saying a word. He didn't have much to say to her. But the one dude, oh, he he destroyed her on TV. And it was funny as hell, man. I mean, funny as all hell. Like, like he would say that you only kiss your daughter when, when your boyfriend's around. And then you have a new boyfriend every week. Well, I can't see myself with a black man. And he asked her, he said, well, where, where, where's this white man? This very perfect white man that, that you want to be with. And she, and she couldn't answer it. And the audience just laughed at her. It's like, yeah, it's like. And then the talk show host asked her straight up, seriously, it said, what if that perfect man you're looking for is not white? What if he's Hispanic? What if he's Asian, Arabic, or black? And she, I would throw up. It's like, well, maybe your biases is why are why you'll never be happy. <laughs> and you know, when you really think about it, it, it does make a lot of sense. Well, what if that perfect dude or that perfect woman that we walk by? It, it's almost like me where I'm like, man, I don't want to date no chick that's overweight or fat. But what if that perfect chick is overweight or fat from a mental standpoint? You know, if you're overweight or fat, all I got to do is, hey, baby, how you doing? I'm fine. You hungry this morning, baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hungry? All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, what you want? Can I get a cheese omelet? I'm going to make you an omelet. And then dick her down that morning. And then after I bust a nut, she go take a shower. We take a shower. She's like, where are you going? I'm about to go for a run. You want to come with me? No, nah, I don't want Come on, baby. Come run with me just one time. Do one mile with me, baby. She run that one mile. She about to pass out. I kiss her. And I'm down there about to rape her at the damn sea coast. And she's like, oh. I'm going to get some old dick. Yeah, you're going to get some old dick, bitch. <laughs> Come on, just run one more. Run another one. All right, damn, you look good. Let's run another one. And then we get back home, and we just keep doing that. I don't want to do it again. Right, let's do it one more time, baby. I had so much fun being with you. Do it again. And then after like two, three weeks, she starts to notice, oh, these jeans don't fit me no more. Oh, I'm getting slimmer. Oh, he has shown me the way. Wow. Damn. You know, I actually learned that in boot camp because uh, I remember being in boot camp and uh, Petty Officer Williams, a little short dude with a Napoleon, Napoleon complex. He showed us pictures of three women. One was Beyonce. One was uh, some bitch I don't know from like Italy. And the other one was this kind of chubby chick. And he asked him, he asked us, uh, which one would we all pick? And, you know, you know, most of the brothers chose Beyonce and most of the white boys chose the, the Italian chick. It was him and maybe only two other guys who chose the chubby chick. And he asked the two guys who chose the chubby chick, he's like, why? And they said, well, because, you know, you know, most of them just like big girls. 
He said, you know what this chubby chick reminds me of? All you sons of bitches. And we were like, whoa, whoa, what the fuck you mean by that, man? Nah, nah, nah. Y'all ain't what I want y'all to be. I want y'all to be fucking killers ready to go over in Afghanistan and blow them bitches. But can any of y'all do that right now? We were like, no. He's like, that's y'all. Y'all this chubby chick right here, right now. But you know what? I take you to the gym. I gave you a few lessons with a fucking rifle. And you're going to get done what I fucking need done. And the problem is, when you started off, you wasn't shit at all. So you're going to be more loyal to me than if I were to take Beyonce. Because Beyonce already know how she got to do to get a damn dick. This bitch don't know what she got to do to get some damn dick. Y'all, y'all don't know what it means to get some real fucking pussy. I'm going to show y'all how to get it. And y'all going to love me for it. And I was like, you know, it's like, you know, you sit there and you really think about it and you meditate on it years later. And you're like, that motherfucker was actually right. Because <laughs> here I am talking about this shit right now. But straight up, I think that, that, that maybe that's the philosophy a lot of men need to have. I know there's a lot of guys out there um, who they say, man, I just can't find the right chick. Or you got chicks out there, I just can't find the right man. Maybe the type of guy you're aiming for is just maybe you need to look in a different direction for it maybe it exists in a different realm or a different world you know if you're a white girl you say i only date white men and you can't find the right white man maybe you go talk to a hispanic dude or a black dude or an asian dude maybe that's the right type of dude that's going to match you on everything else except for his skin color if you're a dude, you only date big girls. Maybe go for a skinny girl and you'll find the right chick you're looking for. Or if you only date, you know, skinny girls. Go for a big girl one good time and see what she brings to the table. You know, you know, if she's too big for you, to, to, to take her to Bali Total Fitness, put her in a yoga class or a karate class, and y'all figure that out together. Hmm. Just a little tidbit, food for thought type thing.